Lisa Lemon from Circability, and today we're going to be doing a few challenges with our hula hoop on our waist. Okay, so if you can already hula hoop on your waist, awesome start, but just a refresher of the basics, to hoop on your waist, you want to be thinking of like going back and forth in your body, so you can have one foot in front of the other, and you're doing back and forth movements. So you start with the hoop nice and flush on your back, level to the ground, give it a gentle push and you're going to start doing back and forward motions with the hoop. Go. If you got this, our first challenge is to turn in the same direction as a hoop. So if your hoop is going to the left, like mine is, you're going to turn towards the left. Cool. If you've got that challenge down, next one is we're going to turn the opposite direction of the hoop. So in my case, my hoop's going to the left, I'm going to turn to the right. So this one's a little bit trickier because you have to hoop a bit faster in your body. Cool. Next challenge. If you can do that, can you do the same? But now on tippy toes. So take a little tiny steps, turn the same direction. Nice. And again, turning the opposite direction but in tippy toes. Nice. Cool. Final challenge. Can you hula hoop and sit down on the floor or get onto your knees and then stand back up again? So we're going to go down to the ground, get on my knees, still hooping. And then standing back up without stopping the hoop. Awesome! Let me know how you went with these challenges. And if you're looking for more tricks or challenges like this, you can visit circability.org for all of our tutorials and online classes. Thank you. Bye.